How many of you have ever experienced a huge grand opening celebration? Now, I'm talking about one that's just over the top. Decorations, food, activities, sales, fireworks, you name it, it was happening. Well, did you know that there's a story about a huge grand opening in the Bible? Second Chronicles 5 says Solomon had just finished building the temple that he wanted to build for the people to worship God. They brought the Ark of the Covenant into the temple and placed it inside the most holy place, the Holy of Holies. They sacrificed so many sheep and so many bulls that no one could even count them all. All of Jerusalem showed up for this grand opening for the dedication of the temple. They came together as a united body of Christ to stand before Messiah and worship him. So here's what happened. When they all got together, 2 Chronicles 5 says that all the Levite musicians and their sons and relatives stood on the east side of the altar playing cymbals, harps, and lyres. With them were 120 priests who blew trumpets. The trumpeters and the singers joined in unison and with one voice to give praise and thanks to the Lord. Now, accompanied by trumpets and cymbals and other instruments, they raised their voice in praise to the Lord and sang, He is good. His love endures forever. One translation even says that the singers and the musicians sounded like one person. They were so unified in their praise. Now, this entire city was praising God together in unison with one united song. Now, how on earth did they orchestrate this massive accomplishment? Here's how. All of the people's hearts were in one accord before they ever got to the temple. They all arrived with one agenda, and that was to worship God. Worshiping God was more important than their egos, their preferences, self-serving attitudes, their prejudices, their likes or their dislikes. They joined in unity to praise God. So what happened next? I'm glad you asked. When God's people worshiped him in unity, chapter 7 tells us that fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offerings and the sacrifices and the glory of the Lord filled the temple. The Israelites knelt with their faces to the ground and worshiped and gave thanks to the Lord. What an incredible picture that this paints in my mind that through the ebb and flow of their relationship with God, this is a time when the Israelites got it right and God was very pleased. Wouldn't it be awesome to see how God would show his power if we could just get it together and make this whole church thing about worshiping him and thanking him? Let's think about that as we grow close to being able to physically worship together again. And when we do, Let's make an Israelite-style grand opening and really worship the God of our salvation. I'm Kevin from Mount Pleasant Church. Thanks for listening to this edition of Wednesday's Words of Worship, and I hope you'll come back again next week.